Hi everyone, Shane Armin Rowe here. Today we're gonna to be looking at the ProtoArc 2-in-1 device here. I know it looks like a mouse, where's the other part? So this is one part, where's the 2-in-1 part? It actually doubles as a hub and you're going, wait a minute, how can that possibly work out? Let me get it out of the box and you'll understand better. Inside here we have your, uh, it looks like a little gasket here of some sort, as well as a standard USB-C to USB-A charging cable. And of course, the unit itself. Let's put that down here for a minute. What else is in the box? Uh, standard, probably substandard user manual, right? Uh, you might actually need this for something. We'll check back here in a minute. But here it is. Uh, it is, I don't know, it sort of has almost like an old antique look to it, right? It's, uh, I wouldn't call this particularly attractive, although I bet some people do. And on the underside here, we have power, three device switching along with the optical receiver and some nice uh, some nice bottom cushioning there. Here's where the two-in-one part comes from. Yes, hidden inside the mouse is a hub, a USB-C hub. And look here, it features HDMI, USB-C 3, and a USB-C power in. It rated at 65 watts, which is more than enough for either the Steam Deck or for the Asus Ally. And of course, the simple charging cable, which plugs in here. And uh, listen, uh, I mean, it's a, it's a mouse that has a hub tucked into it. I mean, the hub itself feels very, very well built. The mouse, eh, maybe not so much. It does have a DPI switch here, as well as a standard scroll wheel. The real trick is gonna be, how do you use it with your common devices? Now, I do a lot of Steam Deck stuff, so we're gonna focus on that, but we're also gonna try putting it on the Ally, as well as my phone for deck support. So we're gonna put this little uh, gasket on here and we'll pop it right on top of the Steam Deck. Now, as it is, it's okay. It doesn't cover the vents. Now this is a 2.4 gigahertz mouse. So it is not using Bluetooth out of the box. It initially connects to the hub as a 2.4 gigahertz receiver. As mentioned, you can't get to the power button, so you're gonna have to have it on before you plug it in. Okay, so I think it's time for us to turn this guy on. You can see that it uh, immediately paired up to the hub, which is great. Look at that, it's ready to use. No pairing, no button pushing. Wow, that's actually kind of cool. But that of course does require the hub be plugged in for that because it is 2.4 gigahertz. It's very lightweight. It's very smooth operating. The buttons are, the mouse buttons are very soft click, so it's not that annoying click click sound. Here we have the DPI changes. So you can see as I change the DPI, it moves between different settings. So if, if it's uh, traveling too far, it's got too high of resolution, you can always turn it down. Oddly enough, there are some great use cases for Steam games that that might be useful. This little button here will let you toggle to two other devices, which are Bluetooth devices. So you have three devices in total, which is actually pretty cool. So you have your phone, your Asus Ally, and your Steam Deck all together at once. All in all, it operates very smoothly. Nothing I would uh, tend to worry about. We do have this scroll wheel in the middle, which is perfect, and it does double down as a middle click. That's something that's important to me. I use middle click all the time. A lot of people don't, I get it, but I would have been upset if it wasn't here. So overall, the mouse is, um, the mouse is functional, right? I don't necessarily love the looks of it. I don't think it's one of those cool looking high-tech mice, but it does indeed do the job and it does the job pretty well. All right, so next up, let's go ahead and plug it into a monitor. HDMI out to this great little portable monitor. And I gotta say, I'm not real thrilled with how loose and how that sort of lines up. Not super comfortable with this. I would much prefer a little pigtail or something to plug it into. It'd make me feel a little happier. See, it's all kind of wiggly and stuff. I did take the gasket out to make sure I had a good connection. And as you can see, it works. It works fine. It uh, It's a standard external monitor support. This does go up to 4K30. Not 4K60, so for many of you, that's a deal killer. But for me, I think it would be just fine. We're gonna plug in a keyboard here just to make sure the USB port is solid. And listen, it, uh, it works fine. Next up, we're gonna do some power testing here. Obviously, we wanna make sure that this thing will push through enough power so that it can play and charge at the same time. Now, I'm gonna lay this thing down because I'm starting to freak out about this connector having all these cables plugged in. It's still a little on the shaky side. But okay, so you can see here in the inset that we actually show that while playing Mortal Kombat 1, the heaviest game I have right now, it is indeed lowering the charge number, lowering the charge amount of time, which means it is indeed charging while it's playing. And you can see the output from the multimeter. So let's go ahead and 
it's time for another test. Okay, next up we're going to plug it into the Ally, and I know the only thing you Ally people care about is whether it'll do 30 watt, 35 watt turbo, so we're going to test that right now. We'll test the HDMI out, of course you can see it's fine, no problems there. But again, I know what you really want to see is, show me the power, show me the 35 watt turbo. And as you can see right here, PD comes on, but no turbo. Just to verify, we'll take a look here. Absolutely, 25 watt turbo is the max you get, so no 35 watt probably takes it off your plate. Okay, so next up, we're gonna try plugging it into my phone, my Samsung Galaxy S21, and seeing if it will kick into DeX mode. And wouldn't you know it, DeX is available and works right out of the box, no messing around, nothing. So I now have a mouse with no cable. I can plug in a keyboard and everything else, and I basically have a computer with me. How great is that? It looks good. It works well. I know a lot of people are interested in DeX. I didn't realize so many people were interested in DeX. I keep getting asked about it, and it's like, well, I'll just start integrating them into these uh, videos. A little real-world use here playing on uh, YouTube with the uh, Samsung version of the app. I'd say it looks pretty good. All right, so what do I think? Well, I think it's a different product, it's a unique product, and I guarantee that somebody out there is saying, oh my God, I have to have that because there are use cases for all of these weird niche objects like this. And somebody out there, I guarantee, is loving this idea and can't wait to get one. You know, the truth is, it's a $20, $25 mouse, and a $20, $25 hub. And the list price, as you can see here, is $80. Eight zero, $80, that's, that's a lot of money for two devices that just happen to plug into each other and can compartmentalize together. That's what you're literally paying $40 or $50 for? Seems kind of sketchy. Now, right now, there is a 15% off coupon, which will definitely help. And by the way, I paid full price for this, so listen please use the affiliate links. I know it seems funny to beg and ask for people to use affiliate links, but every little bit helps because I paid 80 bucks for this or whatever it was with tax. So the affiliate links do help out. If this looks interesting to you, then the product is sound, especially the fact that you can use two Bluetooths and you have the 2.4 gigahertz. That's sort of an unusual setup. And I like that. A lot of high-end Logitechs have that. Most well, this isn't really inexpensive now, is it? But most cheaper or off-brand devices don't really have that level of functionality. As usual, if you like what you saw, thumbs up the video, subscribe, and of course, ding the bell, and you'll get notified next time we have one of these videos. I'm Shane Armonroe. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, take care.